What up, y'all? What up? Good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing? About to head out. Head out to the office. Uh, it's about 8.11 right now. How do you turn the thing off? Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Head now, what's up? What's going on? Uh, I'm gonna try and hop on here. <laughs> I'm gonna try and hop on here uh, a few times throughout the week. Cause I think it's important, you know, to uh, document, document the struggle, to document what's going on, man. It's hard, man. It's uh, It's crazy to document these things, man. Before it was easy, right? Because nothing had changed, you know? Nothing has changed before. It was when the struggle, all of a sudden, things like this happen. And we're kind of like still weirded out about it. We're like, uh, I am not comfortable recording this because I don't even know if I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Time to go. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. But yesterday, one of my homies posted a good comment on one of my stuff. And it kind of reminded me of why I used to do these lives, you know? First of all, first of all, let's say goodbye to this thing right here. Hold on. What? Artie, what's going on, playa? Goodbye, house. Look at this. Boom. Oh shit, I'm probably like speeding here. Look at this tree. That's what happened after the storm the other day. Fucking tree fell. All right, we're leaving. We're leaving the compound. All right, let me uh. It's hard, man, it's hard. It's hard to hop on here and just talk. Um, because sometimes you run out of things to say, right? But uh, I think it's important to get on here, at least have a chat. Have a chat about some stuff, man, because I'm sure somebody might benefit from it. And that might be in a, in a tough situation, you know? Um, so this morning I was confused as fuck. You know, I'm always all confused. I'm always like, what the fuck? It's... It, and it's easy to get confused because you're you're in a new place, you're in a new house, you're in a new, you have a new car, like all these things start appearing out of nowhere. What's up, Tony? And you're gonna be confused as fuck, man, because especially if you're used to not having anything, like this shit's gonna be confusing. What's up, Reina? My sister Reina, man. Um, oh shit! After how many deals should you quit your job? <laughs> After you feel comfortable, man, after you feel like you can support your life, that's when, man. When I did my first deal, I'm like, I could do this all day. And I, that, well, that's when I stopped selling dogs. But I always had in my mind, I'm like, if shit goes south, I'll go back and sell some dogs. Um, yeah, they will. It's easier when you get fired than uh, when you quit, right? I don't think I would have quit, honestly, myself. It's very hard to quit. Like, why would you quit something that you know? So for me, they just fired me. And then I had to go into selling dogs. And it got weird. My life got super weird. I was like, I don't want to call it smuggling. Smuggling dogs through the border. But that's what I was pretty much doing. But legally, through the it was just a mess, man. I used to take my brother Rodrigo. He'd be sitting next to me, like, freaking out. I was like, gosh, man, this is so illegal, I'm pretty sure. And even the immigration would say, hey, man, you can't be doing this shit, but we got bigger problems on our hands, so I'll let you be this time. They would just let me pass. It was horrible. Anyways, um, it's about getting uncomfortable, man. Let me give you guys the secret to growth, okay? And I know a lot of people probably don't touch on this subject a lot, so the 21 people we have here, are gonna and hopefully benefit from from what I'm about to say. All right, 
Here is the secret to growth. And I know you probably heard it somewhere, but a lot of times people don't really emphasize that much. The secret to growth, and how can you tell if you're growing? This is how you can tell you're growing. You are uncomfortable as fuck. All right, what the fuck is this? Oh shit. Boom, I could change my shit so you could promote the logos and shit, that's awesome. Okay, cool. So that is the secret, my friend. That is the secret to growth. If you are very comfortable, you have no bills, you have the life of your dreams, guess what, you are no longer growing. You are stuck. And there's nothing wrong with being stuck, being comfortable, that's great. That might be something that people strive for. But if you're not done yet, and you're comfortable, then I would suggest you get uncomfortable very, very quickly. And I'm sorry if I'm coming out a little bit loud. Um, but I've been uncomfortable my whole freaking journey, man. I've never had a moment where I'm comfortable, man. Even to today. You know, I spend 60, 70, 80, $100,000 every month, man. That is zero fucking cap. Like, I still get in shock, man. When I get my statement from Amex and it says minimum payment due, it's $70,000 and I'm like, fuck. And then I go spend another 15 on it the next day. It's fun. it's stressful, man, but guess what? Being uncomfortable is the key to growth. Because guess what happens, man? When you get comfortable with the $100,000 monthly payment on, on things like that, you're a whole different level. And the moment I get comfortable with that level, guess what? I'm gonna jump to another fucking level and get uncomfortable at that other fucking level. Oh shit, I'm comfortable spending 100K on this shit. Guess what? Time for me to get uncomfortable. Let's go spend some more shit. Let's go do some other shit. But you have to, and I'm sorry for my curse words. I know I hate it myself. I wish I could stop. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more politically correct. I just love people that don't curse, you know? Like, they sound so professional. For me, it just happens, man. It just comes out. And I don't, sometimes I'll, I'll watch myself back and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Like that uh, interview we did on Flip Flop, man. He gave us some, some shit. He, we get to sell the good stuff too. But honestly, man, if you could take something from this today, before I get into the freeway, man, get uncomfortable. Like honestly, people don't don't emphasize enough the power of being uncomfortable. If you're comfortable, man, you're you're pretty much done. Like what? Retire already, fucking. Like, dude, life is a life is a freaking. It's a soap opera, man. Life's a fucking movie, man. Is that... Would you watch the movie of your life? Or is your life fucking boring, man? Like, we're, we're going to Hawaii next month. The following month, I rented a fucking island in Nicaragua. All right? The fall... Like, a couple of months later, I just booked a, a fucking shit to, to the Maldives. Like, we have some trips coming up to Dubai. I mean, we have a lot of stuff going on, but... You have to get uncomfortable, man. Like, people... People think that if you are comfortable, you already won. That's not the case, man. If you if you get comfortable, you didn't win. You're fucking done. All right, life's about growth, man. Like, you guys see the fucking house I just got? You know, that, that not, that's not like a brag or anything. I just did it so I could say I fucking had it. Like, one of my buddies, um, one of my buddies said, oh yeah, I've had the mansion, I've had this, I've had that, I did it all, and then I was done. All right, well, guess what? I want to do that shit too. I want to have the mansion. I want to have the cars. I want to have the fucking jets. And then I want to say, oh, okay, I fucking did it. All right. So that's why I got the fucking car. Now I got the house. Don't y'all think I'm not thinking about getting that Lambo. Like that Lambo is coming. Like I could buy the fucking Lambo today. Fucking cash like that, man. But I am not going to do that because I'm not stupid <laughs> for my level. For my level, it'd be stupid to buy a Lambo cash, all right? Some other people's levels, they got it like that. That's fucking awesome. I am just don't feel like I'm there yet. It'd be very irresponsible for me. But don't get me wrong, I am gonna buy the fucking Lambo. And then I'm gonna sell it at some point after I get done and tired with it. I'm gonna park that sucker in front of the house. But you have to do everything that you want. Like, put that shit on the vision board, man. Put it on your notes. Like, what do you want? Like, for me, I was flying Southwest the other, way, the other day on the way back. And I just didn't feel comfortable with my kids being next to some fucking weird, hairy-ass motherfucker. And so then I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to fucking start flying private. You know, it's not that, oh, que sangron. No, it's just something that you want. Like, am I able to do it right now? 
Yeah, I, I could probably do that shit right now. I, I was actually looking into it. Do I do I feel comfortable doing it? I don't feel comfortable, man. Just dropping, you know, 10, 15k, 20k on a private private uh, jet. But guess what? In my, I already put it in my mind. I'm like, in my mind, I'm gonna be flying in a fucking private jet. Alright, when is it gonna happen? I don't fucking know, but if I've learned one thing in my life, is that whatever you think about, happens. Whatever you think about, you attract. Like, if you believe something, believe that. If you if you just keep thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, it's gonna happen. Alright? So, that's what I'm thinking about right now. I'm like, alright, the jet, the jet, the jet, the jet, the jet. Alright? Uh, finances. That's all I'm thinking about, man. And eventually... The universe just fucking gives it to you, man. The universe shows up and gives you $100,000 out of nowhere. Shows up and gives you $200,000 out of nowhere. Just because you're thinking about it. Like, every day I fucking think, I'm like, oh, what is this? I'm just going to get a deal. It's going to have 70, 80. And it happens, man. It does happen. Every fucking month, we'll land into a couple hundred thousand dollar deals. Um, just because you're just thinking about it. But I'm telling you guys, man, If you, the moment you feel comfortable, oh, I'm comfortable, I got it. That's when you're no longer moving forward, man. You need to be freaking uncomfortable. And guess what? Me waking up in that house every day is so freaking uncomfortable. Like, I still don't feel like I belong in there. But guess what? The moment I feel comfortable, I'm going to sell it. Oh, he's never going to be able to pay it off. I'm not. It's an investment. I'm going to sell it. I'm gonna sell this fucking house. I'm gonna sell everything I got. Like, we're salesmen. I'm not planning to stay in there forever. If I enjoy it a little bit, I'll sell it. I'll make some cash off of it. Like, as I said, in this new house that I bought, I'm already set to make two, three, four hundred thousand dollars on it as I sit right now. So, it's an investment. You know, I wasn't just gonna buy anything just to buy stuff. Um, but that's you gotta position yourself. You gotta protect yourself from yourself, man. Like making stupid decisions, getting rid of all your money, like all these different things are just a recipe for disaster, man. So um, hopefully you guys um, got a little value from this live, man. I'm gonna try and maybe do a couple more here and there. Cause I know there's some people going through the struggle, man. And dude, I was in, I was in your shoes. I was in your shoes two years ago, man. Two years ago, I was in your shoes. I was struggling to get a fucking deal. I was struggling to make things happen. And fast forward two years later, man. All of a sudden, the deals are coming in. Stuff's happening. And just like that. But here's the, here's the secret sauce, man. I haven't stopped. Even when things went wrong, I didn't stop. I went harder, man. And when things went well, I went even harder. So that's just the key, man. Go hard. Be uncomfortable. Keep growing. Keep fucking dreaming, man. If you want to open up another market, open up another fucking market. Give it a try. Yeah, you're going to lose some money probably. Because it's hard to do new things. But if it works, why the hell not? Um, all right, y'all. I'm going to head out because I don't think it's safe for me to drive. And <laughs> I need to get like one of those holders, man. I'm still using my hand as a holder. Uh, I need to get one of those things, man. Uh, if anybody wants to go to the office, let me know. But bring me, bring me a phone holder for an iPhone 11. I think it's an 11, 10 or 11, max. All right. Whoever wants to go to the office, hit the DM if you're in Phoenix. But you have to bring me a phone holder for the phone. Deal? Boom, done. Honestly, like whoever we meet with, we give so much freaking value all the time. Just because, you know, just because... Um, we get value doesn't mean that we're losing any value like on the contrary man we we help build you know five ten different people in their businesses guess what that's ten, five ten more relationships that we have uh for different opportunities so we are not at the mindset where we should just keep all the information to ourselves like i did a two-hour youtube video where i gave all this stuff away and honestly if you follow that um you'll be set if you want more advanced stuff and things like psychology wise in terms of like employees and all that and that's a private conversation because that's some some crazy shit that's some crazy corporation shit all right so i'm gonna bounce what's the plan for today i don't know 
I don't have a plan for today. I'm gonna go look at the leads. I'm gonna, we're maybe gonna hit up some some of those leads. We're gonna we're gonna schedule loan stuff for houses we're buying. Honestly, I don't have a set plan. I wish I, I would like write things down and here are my to dos. But I don't I don't have any to dos, man. I just show up and then we'll, we just wing it. I've been winging this shit for the past two and a half years, man. So don't think for one moment that you have to be a certain type of person to make it, all right? You don't have to be a certain type of person. All types of people make it. I'm the type of person that just fucking wings it, man. I show up and I wing it. Yeah, let's go. You wanna go there? Sure, let's fucking go. Should we go there? I don't, I don't think we should. You wanna go meet with that guy? Sure, let's fucking go. We just wing it, all right? So just hang in there, man, um, cause guess what? One of you guys watching this video is maybe a year or two away from changing your lives. And I've seen it firsthand, man. A lot of my friends that were struggling, that were in my office asking me questions two years ago, now doing hundreds of thousands of dollars every month. Like, dude, it's fucking insane, right? But you can fucking, if you believe that you're the person that needs to succeed, then guess what? You're gonna become the person that needs to succeed. I've never had one fucking doubt in my mind that I would fucking get here, man. I used to have a poster with that fucking house hanging on my wall where I fucking live now, man. I never had one fucking doubt. And I wasn't going to fucking quit. And I've noticed that there's a pattern between those people that win and those people that don't. Those people that win already fucking act like winners. Yes, let's fucking go. Let's do this. Yes, let's fucking go there. Yep, let's fucking do it. You're doing it. I'm going to fucking do it too. And they're just fucking winners, man. They have this winner personality. And nobody's going to tell them that it's not possible because they live the impossible in the words of David motherfucking Copperfield. All right, you guys have a good day. Hopefully this was of value. Let's fucking change our goddamn lives, man. Peace.